from Portland, Oregon. It's Flash Friday. Go, 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 go. And now, here he is. Tom Likin. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likin Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. We're in Portland, Oregon. These guys are amped up. We've got our dog and pony show on the road again. We are in Portland, Oregon at Barracuda. It's our first show in Portland in four and a half years. Ah, I love being back here. I do. And uh, thank you all for coming. Now, many of the people here won tickets to be here today. They had to run all over the Portland metropolitan area, all around town, trying to get these tickets. And they got them. And they did. Uh, they humiliated themselves and demeaned themselves to win tickets in some cases. Uh, I've heard of some of the stories of what's going on around here. And uh, we also then uh, threw it open to all women. They, they, women don't even need tickets. So the chick factor is uh, pretty damn good today, I gotta tell you. Good crowd. We got two levels of people here. It's easily a thousand people here. It's unbelievable. Huge. And on stage with me, I have the Stars Girls. Give the Stars Girls a hand. The Stars Girls are entertaining the boys during the breaks. Thank you, girls. Thank you for being here. The Stars Girls. Okay. It's all good. It's wide open telephones on the Tom Likey show. Now, uh,. You are, you are here for a reason, dear. What is your name? Uh, my name is Samantha. I go by Sam. I'm a contestant for uh, my finalist for Miss Newt Oregon, but I'm here to see my dad. Oh, yes. I love having so many progeny. But I have two more reasons. I would love you to sign my rack, and I want your handprint on my ass. You're going to get both, dear. I'm going to take my official rack writer. That's what it says on it. It's a rack writer. Oh, look at these. What is the cup size on these? Uh huh? What is your cup size? Uh, it's your 36 double D. They just don't sag at all. They're yeah, beautiful. Let me uh, get my name on these right now. Show the crowd. These boys have come with cameras. They want to see. Sam is showing her rack to the crowd, which I have just signed. 36 double Ds. Look at those. Very, very nice. But, there, but there's one more thing I want from you. I want your handprint on my ass cheek, please. I'm not wearing underwear, so you got to be careful. So you prepared for this. Okay, I'll put my handprint on your ass cheek. You guys want to see this? Let's, um, let's take it around here. We're going to turn you around facing... No, face this way. Oh, okay. Face this way. That's good. Here we go. Now, I'm going to start off slow, and you... I want it hard. Just hard. Hard out of the box? Hey, all the way to the max. Here we go. I love you, Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Give Sam a hand. I just gave her one. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm here to help, Sam. Any talk. Any time you want me to crack your ass, I'm in. All right. Unbelievable. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. It's wide open telephones on the Tom Likas Show. It's Flash Friday. Men, turn your headlights on all across America. Turn your headlights on. And uh, ladies, if you see a guy or a chick with their headlights on, you know what to do. Show them your rack. Show it. For God's sake. Reward these people for being loyal Likas listeners. Now we go to your calls here, 1-800-5800-TOM. Ruth on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 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 How you doing? Do you care, Ruth? Yeah, I do. I'm doing great. Well, I'm coming on to James Street in Kent on West Valley Highway. I'm in a white Dodge Spirit. Yes. Has one headlight on. Yes. And I don't have my shirt on. And I've already got the attention of three truck drivers. Really? 
Yeah. And you're just showing them off. You're not even flashing. You're just driving around topless. That's right. Anybody wants to see in Kent, Washington, anybody who sees your car, they're going to see right out of the box. They don't even have to have headlights on. Anybody can see. Wow. So where are you exactly again? I'm in Kent, southbound on West Valley Highway. Southbound on West Valley Highway. What exit are you at? Uh, it's not. It's actually a, a just going through town. Uh huh. And I'm passing Smith Street now. Uh huh. And are you seeing some headlights on today? Uh, lots of headlights. Just having a hard time discerning who wants to see it. Oh. So right. I decided to take my shirt off and let them all see it. You're showing them to everybody. We love yep. that. I'm pretty sure the truckers are radioing ahead to each other. <laughs> well, Ruth, we are proud to have you as a listener. Yeah, I'm even indoctrinating my five-year-old daughter. Oh, is she topless she's, also? She's already calling. She's already, I'm going to send you a bit via email. And she says it. She goes, Tom like this. It's so cute. Really? I'm going to get her on the computer, and I'm going to send you a bit I, with it on it. When you said you were indoctrinating her, I thought you had her driving around topless also. <laughs> well, she's not quite old enough yet for that. Okay. But she, she listens to you. She knows, you know, Tom like this. Just remember, boys, the five-year-old, that's your trophy wife. You just wait. After you make enough money to get rid of the bitch you have today, that's next. How do you feel about that, Ruth? Well, as long as she's treated right, oh, I don't have a problem with it. Okay, very good. She's a future trophy wife. Yep. All right, Ruth, thank you. Thank you for driving around topless in support of our show. We appreciate it. All righty. There, Great. There she goes. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Kevin... In Victoria, B.C., on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Kevin. Hello, Portland. What? Tom Flash Friday rocks. Really? Really. I'm coming from the ferry, driving into town. I got four Tom Likas Flash Friday signs on my vehicle. And I get pulled up beside me in this chicken and Miata, and out comes the puppies. No! It's sweet. I love Canadian flashing. I do. Hey, and the Canadian beaver is the best. <laughs> is that so? Well, I'm, glad to know yeah, you're an, I'm glad to know you're an animal lover. You, you got something oh, to show well, me here? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Well, that, I, 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 I hate to break in on this, Kevin, but I'm, I'm getting flashed here. Can I get another look at those, please? Show me one more time. I just want to get a good close look. I, excuse me while I get down. Oh, yeah. You want to come up here? All right. Bring this girl up. Bring this girl up. That's a nice set. I want everyone to see those. I want everyone to see that wreck. Just bring them up. We'll, we'll get to you next. One at a time. One customer at a time. I love this. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's wide open telephones. And our girl is working her way around. Here she comes. Working her way. I mean, why, why should I get all of this? Thank you so much. What is your name? Sophia. Sophia. And where are you from? Um, Portland. From Portland. Very nice. Well, Sophia, you have such nice breasts. Why should I be the only one to see them? These boys want to get a look. Will you show them? What? I didn't hear you. Oh, I said, you have such nice breasts. Would you uh, show them to the boys? Sure. Thank you. Okay, she couldn't hear me. Okay. But right, let's bring you up front here so everybody can get a good look. Here they come. Ready? There they are. Very nice. What did I tell you? I was getting this show all by myself up here. Well, thank you. Have you ever done that before? Never. How did it feel? I feel great. So, want to do it again? Oh, yeah. Do it again. Go ahead. He's doing it again. He's showing it. These guys can't see up here. Go at these guys see. Up on the second level there. <laughs> well, Sophia, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, give Sophia a hand for God's sake. 
coming up here and showing her breasts like that. Love that. Okay. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello to Brown on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Uh, Tom, how are you? Do you care? Just, oh, yeah, I do care, actually. I think you're a cool guy. Thank you. So, anyway, I was just calling. I was driving on the 210 freeway. Yes. And about five minutes ago when you said that it's uh, Flash Friday, uh, turn your headlights on. I was looking in your view mirror, and probably about 80% of the cars on the freeway, all the headlights started to come on. Oh, so, I love that. Love so that. So I thought you might want to hear that. I, I never I never imagined that so many people would be listening at the same time. It, well, because they know what they're going to get. I mean, my God, yeah. if you're listening to, I don't know, Larry Elder, you're not going to get this. <laughs> no, definitely not. No. So uh, you have your headlights on too, Brown? You ready to get flashed? Oh, yes, I do. You are ready? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. I'm proud. I'm proud to have you, and thank you for that report. All right. Thank Appreciate you. It. Flash Friday. Oh. Unbelievable. We, there's so many people getting flashed, and even here we're getting flashed, for God's sake, right here at Barracuda in Portland, Oregon. All right. You come down. By the way, we have dropped the ticket requirement for ladies. So uh, if chicks want to come down here, they don't need a ticket. The guys need tickets, but uh, chicks will get in. If they come down, they will get in. And then they will get up on stage. And then they will give us what we want. Right, boys? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. I got three chicks in front of me in a Toyota Corolla flashing their bread. Tell me about those racks. They're nice. Two of them. One of them's got. One of them's a little bit smaller, but they've got to be both double D. Let's see. They're right in front. Now they got to be listening to me because they're both looking at me now. And there they go, flashing them again. Oh, I love that. I love that. Tom, name another radio show that gives you bare breasts in the afternoon. Absolutely not. It's Flash Friday on the Tom Likas Show. Eight hundred five eight hundred Tom from Portland, Oregon. Wide open telephone. Flash Friday. Let's say hello here to Tony on the Tom Like It Show. Tom, how's it going? Uh, pretty damn good, Tony. Do you hear this crowd oh. here? You hear, you hear what's going on here? Yeah, I wish I was there. Yeah, you should be here. Man, I'm stuck over here in L.A. Though, you know. I understand. Well, we make appearances in L.A. You, you are the man. You are the man. Well, thank you for that. I, I am 24 years old. Um, I'm a college graduate. I'm a full contact cage fighter. And I saw my girlfriend at the gym hugged up on some guy half my size today. And I feel like running a muck punisher. And I, I, I got to blow off some steam, man. What do I do? Uh, well, uh, you know what I would do? I would, What's that, I, would, I wouldn't hit anybody. I'd do her best friend. <laughs> you know you want to. Why don't you just do it? <laughs> oh man, you know I, I'm just. Why, yeah, why, you're right, why, you're at, while you're at it, what does her mother look like? Your mother's actually pretty nice. There you go. The That's all right. So her best friend, her mom. Nothing hurts a woman more. You know, guys always want to get revenge on women. You know, and they talk about hitting them, slapping them in the face. That is all wrong. The best thing to do, the best thing to do is to have sex with all the most important people in their lives. I'm hearing you, man. I'm hearing you. Ruin every relationship they have. I'll tell you what, you know, Tom, I, I've been listening to you for about, I don't know, about six months now, and, and you've had more impact in my life than, than anyone's had in my 24 years, you know? Yeah, see, well, I'm the, I'm the dad you never had, of course. Oh, uh, Dad, you're the, you're the greatest. Hey, I, I got a question for you. Yes. I got one quick question. Why was every woman or every personal trainer at the gym a 300-pound woman? Well, because in California, you can't discriminate against the fat. But you know what? I would never hire a fat personal trainer. I have a personal trainer. I wouldn't hire a fat one. Check it out. I, you know, I played Division One college football, and I'm a cage fighter now. And I mean, how am I going to let a 300-pound fat woman tell me what exercise to do, you know, to make myself a better athlete? Well, of course. I, I, well, do you remember the story in San Francisco of the 300-pound jazzercise instructor who got fired? 
No. And she sued for discrimination because she was fat, and they made her hire, made them hire her back. And so there's this big tub of goo jumping up and down, playing music and jumping up and down in front of them. And people were trying to lose weight. You know what? And then the person, I think of a personal trainer is like, I'm the before picture, and the trainer is the after picture. I want to look like the trainer. You don't want to put a 300-pound jazzercise instructor on stage. Forget it. Yeah. It's insanity. Oh, man. Well, this guy I saw my girlfriend with is about half my size, uh -huh. wears glasses. Yeah. Oh, man. Anyway, Tom, take me out whatever way you want, man. All right, Tony, thing. here you go. one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. We're in Portland, Oregon. It's uh, Roxanne on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Do you care, Roxanne? Of course, baby. I would be calling you if I wouldn't have. I'm doing great. Well, um, right now I'm on the 105. I was wanting to show my support. Um, I was telling the guy that answered. I just got my two double D's about a week ago. Uh -huh. um, I'm, a, I'm a listener to your show, and I go by everything that you say. I was telling him that I'm going to go pick up my mom. She doesn't know that I just saw him, and I'm going topless. No! You're driving, yes. minute, you're driving on the Century Freeway right now, topless? Topless on the 105. I just passed Central Boulevard. Uh, which way are you going, east or west? Go to the airport? I'm going to the airport to go pick up my mom. Oh, boy. Okay, so westbound on the 105, and you're topless. And now you see the headlights out there? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. There's really not a lot. Mine are turned on, but that's about it. Really? Well, these boys on the 105 don't know what they're missing, for God's sake. If they had their That's headlights it. on, they'd be seeing what you have. Yeah, yes. well, I guess nobody wants to see me. So you got a nice pair of 34 double Ds. You went to the doctor and got those, you did? That's right. They cost me, and they were all worth it. Wow. When are we going to get a look at those, Roxanne? i got to get a look. Well, I'll send you a picture, Tom. I just put my name on it. Is that all you want? You, you can put whatever you want on it there. All righty. I want to get Whatever a look at those. Want, or we'll bring you down to okay. the studio. You can show all the boys. <laughs> Sounds good, Tom. All right, hopefully Roxanne. I meet your standards. Oh, well, hopefully you do. Or do you think you do? <laughs> well, I'm not going to. I'll probably be an eight in my eyes. I don't think I'm all that, but all something, right. something, right? Well, we'll, t we'll take a look. We'll be the judge. All righty, Tom. Well, have a good one. All right, Roxanna. You too. It's one 800 800 tom Matt on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, ah, Matt. It's so good to have you here in Portland. Thank you so much. God, it's just like the best thing that ever happened this oh, city. I'm Four having so much years. fun. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. You know, I saw you at Portland City Girl last night. I bought you a drink. Uh-huh. You look like a lost puppy. A lost puppy? For God's sake, I was the lost puppy last night. Are you kidding me? I went to the Portland City Grill last night, and yes, Frank did buy me a drink, and so did everybody. I don't think that I paid for a single drink last night. It was that great. It was unbelievable. Really, we had fun. All right, it's 1-800-5800-TOM. We're in Portland, Oregon, at Barracuda. And more of your telephone calls are coming up. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. <laughs> and uh, I've got company here on stage. What is your name? Shanae. Shanae. Where are you from, Shanae? Uh, I'm from Portland, Oregon. And uh, the boys are clamoring to see what you have. Are you ready to show it? Oh, yeah. All right, give it to us, baby. Let's see what Shanae has to show. Oh, look at these. My, my pen has run out of ink. Let me try another one here. What is your cup size? It's a 34 double D. And all natural, I might add. Beautiful. Show the boys here. They want to get a good look. You can uh, walk the runway right here in front of the stage. You've got to see these knockers, man. They're huge. Beautiful. Very nice. Thank you, Shania. Thank you so much. Love that. Amazing. We got more? We got more. 
What an embarrassment of riches. You want green? <laughs> Here we go. What is your name? I'm Brittany. Tom, I kind of wanted you to sign them backwards so when I looked in the mirror, I could see it right side. You want me to sign it backwards so you can look in the mirror? All right, I'll, I'll have to try to write my name backwards. Here we go. Yes, it's taken me a long time. I don't know how to write my name backwards. There you go. Show the boys. I wrote my name backwards. <laughs> These guys over here can't see. Walk in front of the stage and show those boys over there. They want to get a look, too. I can't believe how many breasts we're seeing today. Thank you so much for that. Your name is? My name is Elsie. Elsie. And you want black. Black ink. Black. Always black. Black ink. Well, I'll be happy to sign. You show them, I'll sign them. Here we go. How about we scoot over so they can all see? Okay. Any way you like to do it. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. oh boy. Here she's showing them. Oh, uh, no. We're going with this. You see, I, that was the one I tossed aside before, and you picked it up again. There we go. I just signed it. Show the boys what I just did. If only you were here, boys. If only you'd won the contest. There she is. She's shaking them for everybody. Thank you so much. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Wide open telephones. Uh, I will uh, work it out with the boys over in the corner here. I can't have a conversation with you while I'm on the air. You've got to talk to, to Gary or somebody back there. Okay. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I, I've seen you before. Okay. Gary, that was not a Photoshop picture for your information. You were right. All right. This is uh, Natasha. Natasha, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Natasha. I have a question for you, Tom. Yes, dear. Yeah. Um, if women are sperm receptacle for men, yes. uh, why do men leak our toilets? Is it because you're a dog? <laughs> we are dogs, darling. We are definitely dogs. There's no doubt about it. All men are dogs. Don't you know that? We're dogs. Okay. And, and we, I, got, I got news for you. Your life began in a toilet. Well, which no, explains, I, you know what? You're probably right. You're, the first nine months of your life, you know, you started in a toilet. No your doubt about toilet, it. Dear, so. you sound so offended by the statement that women are human toilets. You say, why are you so offended? Well, that's why I'm wondering, why do men leak our toilets? You well, know? You, well, you said the same line twice. You need new material. You can't keep repeating the well, same thing over and over. Well, I don't have any new material. All right, well, then it's been very day. nice talking to you. All right, if you, if you want to call up, you can talk as much as you like. But if you're going to repeat the same line over and over... It doesn't do anything for us. Got it? I just had to ask the question. That's all, all. Right, well, I will. Don't ask it again. See, here's what... I dumped that bitch. In fact, I'll blow her up. Just to have the There you go. Why are women human toilets? You know, I'm glad Natasha asked that question because it gives me an opportunity to explain this. As I have said on this program so many times... Women are under the mistaken impression that men go out on a first date so we can have conversation with them. Now, all, since I've got all the boys together, all the sons I never had, boys, do you go out on a date so you can hear a woman talk about her opinions about politics? Do you go out on a first date so a woman can tell you about her cat, Fluffy? Do you go out on a first date so a woman can tell you how hard she works and how her boss doesn't appreciate her? Do you go out on a date with a woman so she can tell you what cosmetics and toiletries and accessories she's bought for herself recently? Do you go out with a woman so you can um, have sex with her? Now, now, the deal is, and, and I've always said, you see, men and women are not only different, we are complete opposites. Because women, although they love to claim they all need sex, you can never find one who ever admits to needing it. Do you ever find one who admits that? They can hold out forever. They don't need it. We need it. For a man, having sex is like taking a leak. You need to do it. You need it. And as I always say, and you've heard this analogy before, but I want to put this all together for you. You know, 
There's nothing like the bathroom at a Ritz Carlton or a Four Seasons Hotel. Ever been in one of those bathrooms? You go in the men's room, and they've got an attendant in there, and he hands you a little towel after you're done washing up, and they're all clean. There's no pubic hair all over the urinal or everything. You go in there, and it's just beautiful, and it's, it's well lit, and you look at yourself in the mirror, and you look great, and you leave feeling like a million bucks. Even if you can't afford to stay at the Four Seasons or, or the Ritz-Carlton, it doesn't matter. You go in that bathroom, and for a moment, you feel like a stud, right? But every once in a while, you're not downtown, you're not near a luxury hotel, you're out on a dirt road someplace, and there's a big bush. And so, being that you can't go to the Four Seasons or the Ritz-Carlton, you're out there on a dirt road, it's late, it's dark, you just had a couple of Sixers. So you pull along on this dirt road knowing none of your buddies are going to see you. Nobody's going to know what you're about to do. And so you go behind the bush and relieve yourself. And then drive off into the night without anybody seeing you. You don't sleep over. You don't linger. Nobody hands you a towel when you're done. And instead of feeling like a million bucks, maybe you feel a little cheap. But you don't care. Because you had to do it. Why do I make this analogy? Why do I say that women are human toilets? It is because, at least until we get to know you, and we don't get to know you until we've seen you naked, if you don't know this already, until we get to know you, we are using you the way we use the urinal. We want to get in there. That's it. Stop pretending, ladies, that we care about your little political opinions or what you think about the news like you'd ever watch or read the news. What you think about the last episode of Friends and whether Ross and Rachel are going to get together. or whether, We don't care about the little things you have to say. We don't care. Guys just want to get laid. That's it. That's, that's the reason. So if Natasha doesn't like it, tough. Unbelievable. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. And uh, we'll come back with more of your telephone calls. Stay right there. The Tom Likens Show from Portland, Oregon. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. <laughs> what is your name? Dominique. Dominique, where are you from? Portland, Oregon. Portland. You're from Portland. And, uh... You're already half undressed here. I'm a 34 double D, right? She's a 34 double D. Do you boys want to see a pair of 34 double Ds? I know I do. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Here they come. Oh, uh, there's one. She's unleashing both of them. There they are. <laughs> All natural. Look at these 34 double Ds. Oh, yeah. Show the boys. Show the boys. Walk the catwalk in front of me here. These guys need to see. Oh, you've never had this much attention before. Look at this. This is what every woman craves. All these guys looking, lusting, licking their chops. Thank you, Dominique. Oh, boy. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I've got more company here on stage. What is your name? Melissa. Melissa. Where are you from, Melissa? Portland. Portland. All right. Uh, you've been signed by other people. Uh, she didn't save herself for me. Oh, well. I've been there before. Okay. Uh, well, if you want to show what you've got, these boys would like to see. Would you like to show? you mind a little showmanship? A little showmanship? Sure. Go for it. A little showmanship. Here comes a little showmanship. She's going to pull down the, um, the, the outer dress. We're in kind of, a, kind of a denim dress here. And she's pulling that down. And she's been so... Oh, there you go. Look at those. And, uh, oh boy, she has a cup of ice. And she's doing a little showmanship for the crowd. Now I'm going to try to sign away from the water, from the ice, so I don't ruin another Sharpie here. And uh, there you go. There it is. I just signed it. Show the boys. Oh, yeah. Ted, take the whole catwalk there. Just walk the runway. There she goes. 
And she's wearing fishnet stockings under there, too. Look at that. All right, very nice. Thank you so much. I don't believe how much action there is here today. I don't believe it. Oh, here comes more. Oh. Oh. I'll spank your ass. Is that what you want? Such a nice girl wants me to spank her ass. My name's Janelle. Janelle. Where are you from, Janelle? I am from Vancouver. Vancouver, Washington. Across the river. Yes. Okay, very good. I want you to give me a good spank and come. Now, you know I, I'm going to start off light, and you're going to tell me if you want it hard. Okay. All right, let's go. Why don't we take you right over here to Spanking Central. He's ready to rock all right, now I'm right-handed, so I have to get on this side. She's a... Uh, oh, look at that ass. All right, here we go. Let me know. Harder. All right, a little more heart. One more. Here we go. How was that, Janelle? Oh, I like the song. Oh, Janelle. You want one more? Oh, yes. Say that word. They'll take us off the air, and then the show will be over. All right. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to get your other ass cheek if you don't mind. Here we go. Ready? Okay, just what you needed. Give Janelle a hand. Right on her ass. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Wow. I haven't spanked this many broads in a long time. Tom like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. It was a rule when we got married. Never mess around on me. Never stop filleting me. And never get fat. Never stop filleting me. Words I can live with. The Tom Like It Show. Friday on the Tom Likens Show from Portland, Oregon at 1-800-5800-TOM. We got some a-hoes up there in the uh, in the peanut gallery, and they're all threatening to, uh, to show it. Oh, now that I'm threatening, now they're showing. Now they're showing. All right. Last Friday, men, turn your headlights on, ladies. If you see a guy with the headlights on, or a chick for that matter, show them what you got. Show them your rack. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's wide open telephones. Anything goes here, anything at all. Vanessa, on the Tom Likens Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm okay, I Vanessa. you care. Hey, I'm here right now at my sister's boyfriend's house getting it on. You are? Yes. Now, hey, you say you say women hold out. I don't hold out. So that have it three times a day, yeah. at least once a night. Come on now. Wait a minute. Let me ask you a question. Does your sister know that you're doing your uh, sister's boyfriend? I don't know. Hey, who cares? As long as I get some, right? What happens if your uh, sister finds out that you're doing your sister's boyfriend? Well, I guess we'll have a big three orgy, right? <laughs> would you do that? Yeah. You would. Have, not? You would. I'm, a, I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm saying so. So you would have a three-way with your sister. Three-way with my sister. Yeah. No, she doesn't mind. Really? How you doing, Dad? No, I'm, I'm doing okay. Now, let me ask you a question. What? Because uh, I'm sure... Tra- a couple of your students involved. Oh, very good. Let, let me ask you this question. All right, so there you are, you, your sister, her boyfriend, and you're having a three-way. Would you touch right. your sister? Oh, yeah. In any way? Why not? You would? You'd why not? Would you put on her and stuff? Yeah? Really? Let's go. Why not? Have you ever done that with your sister? I get, but that's always the first time, right? Wow. Okay. Just checking. I just, I, 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 I just wondered if you would touch her. I don't know. That's all I'm wondering about. Well, her man wants me to go with her and, and touch her. Really? Yeah, her man wants to call her over right now. But, oh, you, was, you want to call her on the air? Uh, I don't know. He don't have her number. He can't even find her. I found, her, found him first. I, I, I'll tell you, if you want, we'll all call her together. You want to all call together? Yeah, let's call her. Let's call her. I don't know if he can get a hold of her. That's why I got a hold of him first. All right. she's, at, she's at work. All right. Well, she must be getting off work in a few minutes here, right? 
I don't know. What time does she get off? All right. She gets off like 5.36. All right. I'll tell you what. About 30 minutes. You know what we're going to do? We're going to figure this out. And if we can get her on the phone at some point, uh, we will get, uh, we will find out about Vanessa, her sister, and her sister's boyfriend. We'll see if we can hook that up. All right. We're at Barracuda in Portland. And uh, ladies, you don't even need a ticket to get in. And lots of ladies are here, I've got to tell you. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptop.com. Thank you, Portland. The Tom Likas Show.